Today, Lakeland was at the center of a debate over gun control. Two passionate groups on opposing sides held rallies today. Nightside's Garen Flowers was at both of them. Garen, these were very different events, but with some common themes. Yeah, Katie, the people there just want to make sure that their families stay safe. First, let me start with the rally for our Second Amendment rights. This was spearheaded by State Representative Ross Spano, who's running for Congress. He believes the March for Our Lives tour is targeting their gun rights. Spano says if Second Amendment advocates don't speak up, they will certainly lose them. The people at this rally believe a law-abiding armed citizen is what helps minimize senseless acts of violence and crime. Unfortunately, sometimes as conservatives, um, you were trying to be the good guy, we want to work, you know, and so we ended up compromising on something. And look, there are absolutely times when you do that, absolutely. But on something like the Second Amendment and the Bill of Rights, you know, which preserves our fundamental freedoms, those are things we've got to stand up for, man. All right, so this is one of those things I think it's, uh, you know, it's one of those draw the line in the sand kind of things. You know, it's important to have your own weapon. It's important to be able to protect yourself when you need to, not just relying on the police, but being able to do something for yourself. Then we headed over to the Road for Change rally. They also braved the heat to spread their message of fighting for common sense reform with gun laws. Their big plan today was to register people to vote and motivate them to keep speaking up about gun control. Delaney Tarr has been one of the leaders of this movement. She just graduated from Marjorie Stoneman Douglas and was there the day a gunman opened fire. Even if these people disagree with us, there is this huge middle ground in our country that we know we can reach. We know we can find some compromise. We can get laws passed because ultimately we all want the same thing. We all want our country to be safe and peaceful. Tar referenced things like background checks and better record keeping with the ATF. Once again, the goal for both sides was to make schools and workplaces more safe, but taking completely different approaches.